Both tea devils are tough, but the hungrier one always comes out on top. A hungry small one will chase off a not so hungry bigger one. Wow, amazing. They can eat almost half their body weight in 30 minutes. That would be like me eating 256 hot dogs. Whoa, that's a lot of carcass. <laughs> Step aside, wild rats. I have a real purpose for these beasts. My next generation are security robots. Hello, guard bots. Bye-bye, kids. <laughs> Check out this little tough guy. You look scary. You sound scary. You act scary. But you're kind of cute. <laughs> I'm gonna call you T-Bone. Thought you were protecting them? Well, think again. The wild rats are tagging them so I can catch them. <laughs> Zapbox, get a transmitting tag and bring it back to me. By tapping into the radio frequency, I'll know where to find the Tasmanian devil so I can steal them all. <laughs> Martin, check this out. Uh, you're not gonna give me a taste test, are you, T-Devil? Whoa! Watch out, buddy! This could cause a creature power suit malfunction. I think I'm okay, though. <laughs> Something smells good. Hey, Chris. I think T-Bone likes me. Chris? Where'd you go? Chris? Hey, why are you yanking on me? You were just trying to eat a carcass. What? I'd never eat rotten meat. Let's get back to tagging the tea devils. Chris, trust me, your suit was malfunctioning like mad. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Whoa, you're turning into a tea devil. Hey, and stop drooling on me. Aviva, help! There's something wrong with Chris's suit. Chris looks fine to me. Never been better. What? He was just craving carcass meat. I'm fine, bro. Come on, we got tea devils to tag. Whoa, he's a pincushion of sharp quills. Uh, tell me about it. Sorry for almost sitting on you, pal. Oh, with all those cool quills on his back. Gotta call him Quilber. Oh, I wish I could give Quilber's quills back to him. But once a porcupine quill is out, it's out for good. At least they'll grow back, just like hair does. Yeah, because it is hair. A special kind of hair that nature turned into a defense. Now that's what I call a great creature invention. Invention! Yes! Yes! Invention! Aviva's birthday present! They're beautifully striped. They're one of nature's great inventions. And they're from a really cool creature. Koki, come in. We've got a present. Quilber helped us out. They're African crested porcupine quills. They're beautiful. Let's make something out of them, like a necklace. But I'll need more. I'll need about 10 more. Great idea. But we can't take any more from Quilber. He needs them to protect himself. You're right. But Aviva's necklace, it'd be perfect. Hey, Quilber just might be able to lead us to more quills. What do you mean? He means porcupines are messy. What? What are you guys talking about? Lay it out straight, brothers. Porcupines have pretty messy burrows, and they're always shedding quills all over the place. Since quills are hair, they fall out here and there, just like cats and dogs shed their hair. So, if we follow Quilber to his den, we'll find a bunch of quills that he's not using anymore. Yeah, now you guys are thinking. Huh? Guys, where'd you go? And what's that <gasps> sound? Uh, Koki, we'll call you back. Oh, brother, here comes trouble. Make that three troubles. Don't move. How about I just do this? 
Quilber, come back. Look at that confidence. He's stomping his feet and rattling his tail to tell them he's coming through, whether they're there or not. Yeah, he's saying, don't mess with me or you might get hurt. Those quills aren't only defense, but they talk too. Whoa, when you have a defense like that, creatures listen. Ooh, that young lion better be careful. A porcupine can't shoot his quills, but those quills are so loosely attached that just a touch is all it takes to get a pawful or face full of quills. Amazing, it's a spiny backwards charge. Now that's an impressive move. The best defense is a good offense. Oh. If we wait, we might never see Googly Eye again. I know, and look, these are 99% done. That's pretty much there. I mean, what could go wrong? True, and we at least have to test them out. Yeah, we'd be doing Aviva um, a favor. Right, a favor. I'll just leave her a little note. Let's go. Googly eye, here we come. Pepperoni ice cream. These are awesome. Yeah, with the iris open all the way and the light sensing cones on high. The moonlight lights up everything. All right, so where are you, googly eye? Uh, Martin, do you feel like we're being watched? Yeah, like from back there. Hmm, nothing. Let's keep going. Hmm. What? What do you mean, what? Huh? Huh, what? Huh, hey. who? Hey, who? Who, where? Where, what? What? Googly eye. eye! Check it out. We have googly eyes, too. Hello, little alien creature. We come as friends. Googly eyes, one and all. <gasps> Follow that Tarsier. I wonder where he's taking us. I don't know, but he sure seems to. This? This tree? What is so special about this tree? Martin, you know, we're pretty deep in the forest now. Martin. Huh? Yeah, who knows where this tree is on the map? We better mark our route on the GPS. Pass me my creature pod. What do you mean? You have the creature pods, don't you? No, you were supposed to grab them off the charger. I was. No, you were. I'm pretty sure it was you. Um, nope. Huh. So, what you're telling me is that we're deep in the Indonesian rainforest, in the middle of the night, without our creature pods, following a tiny elusive primate, with nothing but these experimental night vision goggles that could fail at any minute? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Awesome! <laughs>